Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the King of Nexus Super Seas. This one is awesome. It can tow 20,000 pounds and has bunk beds. This is a 2022 Nexus Ghost Model 36DS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Ghost and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video today. I am super excited to be showing you the Nexus Ghost. It's been a while since we've seen a ghost on the program, but before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea. Hi everyone. How's it going today? It's going good. What What the heck? Why are you in winter clothes? Uh, we are in Texas, you guys. Yes. And it's a little bit too cold for me. Yes, it's our first time at Motorhome yes. Specialist. Yes, it's so exciting because we get to see our, all these RVs that are here. Yeah, we have a busy couple of days. So I hope you guys are excited to yes. see some new stuff. Yes. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Nexus Ghost 36DS. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 36 feet 8 inches. This is the Nexus Ghost. It is their top of the line Super C that can tow 20,000 pounds. The reason why it is powered on the International MV chassis. It's 360 horsepower Cummins engine with 800 pound feet of torque. Let's take a look at what's under the hood. Uh oh. Right underneath here, Andrea, international chassis. What's so great about the international chassis is that a lot of the truckers use these. So if you're driving down the road and you have some engine problems, you can go to a Pilots or a Flying J. And what was it, Andrea? Like a two or three hour guarantee? Yes. And they get you all fixed up. I love that feature. If you notice on the front cab part, or well, one, I love all the chrome. I love this. I think it looks good. Really nice headlight design, awesome. Your cameras are also right here, side cameras. Left side, right side, and the reverse side. And then look at these tires, Andrea, they're the Continentals. I love those. 225-70R22.5 with the shiny AccuRide rims. Coming on down the side here, look at this. Very nice, big, bus style mirror. I love that. Double running boards over the fuel tank. Makes it easy to climb in and literally climb out of your truck. That's trucking, huh? Oh yeah. Coming on down the side, you can see that it is frameless windows. Hmm. Uh, Nexus has a 12 year structural warranty, six year lamination warranty. It's the warranty of steel. And the reason why they call it the warranty of steel is because it is steel cage construction. Everybody else is using aluminum and they do use Asdel for their sidewall composite, which is a green based material that will never delaminate on. Matt, am I seeing something different with these doors? um sideways swinging was the ghost always sideways swinging i don't know i, I thought... think the ghost was i think oh, it was okay. the wraith that was it. Oh, okay still very nice here's where you fill up your fuel what look at this little mhsrv little uh embroidery there what the heck there we go coming on down the side here we do have a tv on the outside very nice uh power awning with led lights and then we got more storage here. There's your batteries. Oh, I love this. Very nice, big storage, Andrea. Wow. Electrical outlet right there. Yes, ma'am. Got some more storage here. And just so everybody knows, if Andrea and I, but mostly Andrea, isn't 100%, it's because we woke up at 4 o'clock this morning. Yes. That's RV dedication. That's right. Thank you, Andrea. And my toes are cold. Right. I. <laughs> so I'm tired, but pulling up to Motorhome Specialist, oh man. You guys, that's like being a baseball fan pulling up to the Yankee Stadium. Propane right there. The specs, bing. Or like being a football fan and pulling up to the Super Bowl. That's what I'm at right now. Wow, that's a very nice compliment to motorhome specialists okay we got some pass through here yes ma'am coming around the back again 20,000 pound hitch this motorhome 10 tow 20,000 pounds but remember always be careful guys if you're towing 20,000 pounds you need to be very careful um you know it is nice that it's a commercial duty but still 
if you're towing some 20,000 pounds, just know that you are maxing this out and that's always dangerous to do. So just be, Matt, Matt's a rear, he's not responsible. Right over here, I love the rear tail light design. Nice fiberglass rear cap, backup camera. And there is a ladder to get up on the roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. Hey Matt, hold on. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece fiberglass roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. Satellite dish up there, and there is a solar panel on the roof. Okay, hold on. All right, uh, last step now. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Where the RV sales is going to fly to Texas. Take his fat ass up on the roof. Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Longhorns. <laughs> Are you going to skip here, I wonder? We'll see. I've not seen a cowboy yet, Andrea. I know, where are they? If we don't see a cowboy by the end of the day, I'm gonna be the cowboy and buy a cowboy hat. Okay. You heard it here. Cowboy boots. Right here, oh. we do have storage, love that. 50 amp power cord with a reel. Surge guard protector, inverter, everything. 2000 watt inverter? Yes. Right here's your water heater. I loved how they continued to paint. Look at this wet bay. Very nice. Okay. I love that. That's where you dump your tanks. Right over here. More storage. There's another dump. More storage. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, there's the generator. Yes, Onan 8000 diesel generator. storage more storage yes, okay a little bit of pass through and it's where you fill up your def all right well andrea the outside of the nexus coast looks great but the inside does look even better let's go take a look and he does skip in texas cargo carrying capacity matt all right i gotta find that it's probably gonna be on the passenger seat all right guys we are coming in and the slide is in. So let's do a little 360. Okay, so look at this. This is great. I love when we can walk through and we have plenty of room here. And then, you know, as you can see, plenty of space to open that fridge. Lots of room right here. This is crazy for the slides being in. You've got your bathroom and then you got your master bedroom, which looks like you can use the bed with the slide in. So that's great. Look at all this room. Cargo carrying capacity, 4,830 pounds. That's incredible. And Andrea, while I'm getting the slide outs out, let's take a quick moment to thank our sponsors of this episode. U-Steps is an easy to use telescoping ladder. Very easy to store and bring with you in your RV. With their rubber tops that works individually on uneven surfaces and avoid sliding and damaging walls, adjustable heights to extend to only your desired height. And finally, the angulated rubber feet maximize surface contact to avoid slipping. We have a video demonstrating the U steps that we have. Make sure you guys check out that video. We will link it down in the description below. Also, we have a link to Amazon to buy their three ladders. Thank you so much to U steps for sponsoring this video. Andrea, you mentioned it. A lot of space when the slide outs were in. Even more space now that the slide outs are out. Let's get started in this cockpit area. Listen to that. That's America made right there. International Allison transmission. I love this. You got your mobile eye collision mitigation. 1,371 miles. That's the miles from Indiana to here. You got the international chassis, power windows, power locks, adjustable mirrors right there. Right here, you will be able to see, oh, no camera signal yet. Left side, right side, and the reverse side, very nice. Emergency brake there and cup holder there. Andrea, sit in the co-captain seat. All right. Here we go now. Let's go trucking, I'm Heck ready. Yeah. We're in Texas. Air ride. Let's go. Yes. This is nice. It is air, air ride this on this. This is nice, it's comfortable. Um, I got plenty of space, Matt, let me hear that horn. Oh, well, no, that's a problem. Oh, there you go. Get out of beep, my beep. way. 
Yeah, yeah, no. You can, that's the problem we've had with Nexus. They don't have the air horn. We gotta get the air horn on this, but that's not a big deal. Something I wanna point out, cause I remember we did point it out last time. That cup holder's there is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, also, Andrea's seat is power, and so is my seat is power seat. But just so everybody knows, the power seats um, I know they've had a lot of problems getting the parts for the power seats, so not every unit's gonna always have power seats. Um, so just know that before you They're buy. They're really comfortable, these chairs. Yep, absolutely. And then up here, we do got storage. Okay, a little mirror right here, which is nice. And then on the other side as well. Yes, ma'am. Then we've got this nice bunk over the cab. Oh, yeah. But it looks like we're missing the um, padding. Right, the padding somewhere. But uh, it does fill in a nice bunk over the cab. Uh, you got the uh, cup holders right there. And I believe this holds, what, 500 pounds? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Really, really nice. Wow. What's that? The TV placement. What What about it? Very oh, interesting. Oh, look at that. I like that. Me too. Yeah, they put it here so it's not in the bunk. I like um, that. But it can still angle over to the bunk, or it can angle out over here into the living room area. That's nice. Yes, I love that. Uh, then right here you do have like a little captain's chair interesting interesting and then check out this Andrea what do you think about the uh, cabin uh, the um, balances it looks like they changed them up um okay I will say I do like the balances it's oh. it's a change from <laughs> better was, better than the old yeah, ones what was in here before yes I think that you know it looks a lot better okay with your slow rise shades. I don't feel daytime shades. Nope, no daytime shades, just slow rise shades. Watch your step there, Andrea. Right here we do have a sofa, and this is a tri-fold sofa. Yay! I do like the style of their sofa with the arms and all. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, so many manufacturers try to get fancy yeah. with it. Uh-oh. I didn't break it. Oh, there we go. You had to get the middle legs in. Yep. See, and it's just so simple to use that. I think I think the trifold is more comfortable. Yeah, for sure. At the end of the day, it is for the non-paying customers. Um, but it's a lot better than like the air mattress, and a lot, a lot better than the uh, jack knives. Go like that. Perfect. And then over here in the dinette area, solid surface countertops. I like this. Right here, we do have more cabinetry above. Andrea, how do you like the light fixture? Yeah, they're okay. Okay. Not good, not bad, just medium? They're, they're okay. Okay. Right here, the table. Do you got the cup holders? Does drop down to make a bed. Pretty comfortable dinette. We got storage under there, I wonder. Hmm. Oh, I like it when they have the drawers. They they were. Yeah, doing no that. storage. No storage. Oh no. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay, no storage. Andrea, why don't you show everybody the kitchen? Okay guys, here's the kitchen. Um Oh wait, before you do, I do want to remind everybody that we are now partnered with RV retailer, right? RVR which is a nationwide network of dealerships. Uh, that's why we're here at Motorhome Specialist. So if you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact form, and we will get you the best price in America. All right, here we go. We did not open this one. Let me see if I get that. Right okay. above the door. Very nice. Okay, so we got a cabinet here with adjustable shelves. Yes, ma'am. And then we've got a window here with the mini blinds. Okay. We've got a, ooh, a nice residential style sink. Wow, very big. Very pretty countertop. Yeah, solid surface. That heavy? Always. It's, I also have gloves on too. Okay, right. We've got an extension here. Yes. And then under here, we have great space for a trash can. Okay. Three right. drawers. Little drawers. Little, very little. Yep. And right here, Andre, you missed it. But this is a lily pad of power. Oh, very nice. Right there. All right, let's see what they put here. A convection microwave, wow. What? Okay. Convection? They I love sure that. Did. They weren't doing that. 
We got a three burner Dometic propane cooktop. Yes, ma'am. And they gave you an oven too, so that's nice. Very nice. We got a residential refrigerator LG that runs off your inverter. Okay, okay, very nice. Nice size freezer. Yes. Got a cabinet up here. I love it. I don't know if I can reach the whole run. And that's gonna be hard to get to, but. No, 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 I, we, we, we can see it. <laughs> Okay. Awesome. Andrea, you're a little tired. Do you like to lay in the bunk beds? Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> you could climb in them. I got you. I got you covered. Nice size bunk beds here. Yeah. Seriously, guys. Adult sized. Comfortable. I don't feel like I'm in a coffin, which is good. Big storage underneath. Big storage. They do have a uh, electric outlet and coax there. If yep. you wanted to hook up TVs on both. Yep. Um, Wow, and privacy curtains. Yes, the only thing, there's one big thing, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. <laughs> Here is the bathroom. Yes, ma'am. Nice oh, door. Oh, man, nice. Lights, lights, fan. Decent sized shower. It's kind of dark in here, huh? Yeah, it is. They could have used the light. Very good sized shower. No, I wouldn't say very good. This is a 24 by 36. I would have much preferred a 30 by 36, but... It works, it gets the job done, and it's not a radius shower. Okay, and then right here, guys, we have the medicine cabinet. Yes, ma'am, for all your medicines. And then we have a little sink. Yep. Counter, I like the LED lights under here, and then we have a cabinet there. Yes. And it looks like the toilet is on a pedestal. Yeah, but it looks like it might be a little too high for me. Uh-oh, we haven't had that in a while. Oh, the uh -oh. dangling. It is porcelain. Can't give it a prime poop position. Maybe for Will, who has taller legs. Yeah. Or if you get a squatty potty, that will help. Um, we haven't seen a pedestal in a while. Goodness. Yeah. No. Um, that was definitely swinging my legs. So. <laughs> and then going into the master, looks like we have this sliding door here. Yes. King size bed. King size bed. Yes. No headboard. But we do have very nice storage above. This is tall storage. That's very tall. Like, like, I almost need to stand on the bed. To, like, and that's not a big deal if it if it's my bed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but very tall storage there. I wonder there. if they do that so people don't bump their heads and stuff. Right. Put it up so high. Right. Well, oh, g give me the camera real quick. Something to notice, Andre. Put your hands up. Look how tall the ceiling is. Yeah. I mean, it's you can't very even touch tall. it. Yeah. So that's why it's just it's just yeah. a tall. It's just a tall RV. It's definitely, and, and look at this. They gave you some little nightstands over here. Yes, ma'am. With cubbies. And there's your light switches. Same thing on that side, okay? Yes, yes. And then over here is very, it's, it's a little bit harder to get around here. It's a little tight. See. It's definitely a little tight. But we tight. have the uh, TV there with storage. Storage, yes, yes. And then we have a wardrobe here. Yes. And then we Andrea. have three drawers. Question of the day. Yes. I love Nexus. I love Nexus. Is that gap supposed to be there? Um, I don't think so. Is it for like... Peekaboo? <laughs> no, I, is, I don't it, know. is it for like cables? Um, I, I don't think so. There's no way. I, I just don't. <laughs> Huh. And on the other side there. No, it has to. Right? I mean. Uh, I don't think so, Matt. I don't know. We have hey, drawers. <laughs> we don't make them. We just sell them. Matt, over there, there's another wardrobe. If you can um, open that one up. Yeah. So we got that wardrobe. Very as well. nice. And let's Very see if there's nice. storage under the bed, Matt. All right. Oh man, there. Nope. Got nope. There is there. it. Okay. Very nice. All right. Well, Andrea, everybody's dying to know what the MSRP is. But first, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about the Nexus Ghost and three things we just don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay. I I'm gonna go. go first. Go ahead. I got two right off the bat. Okay. So when I first got in this unit, I had to hit the light switches. The light switch is for the bedroom, Andrea. Okay. The light switch is for the bedroom is right over here. So, Andrea, yes. when you walk in this motorhome, turn the lights on to the bedroom. 
throw over here. Isn't that annoying? It is. Like, look at how you're yeah, like, yeah. You have you, to really come over here. The light switch should, should be, be right be there. Here. Yep. yep, exactly. 110,000%. That's number one. Number two, Andrea. Here you go. Oh, I'm going to do number two oh, okay. and you can do number three. Only because it's right here. It's a given. Every time you do this Nexus, we're going to strike you for it. And that's every manufacturer. Bunk beds that don't flip up out of the way. Make them so they flip up. Because right now, this 36DS, families are going to buy it. You make it so it flips up. And it could be wardrobe space or more closet space. More people are going to buy this unit. Very easy and simple to do. And I just much prefer when they do that. That is number two, and then Andrea, number three. Uh, I don't see any uh, storage, uh, like for a pantry. You know what, there's not a pantry. There's not a pantry in here, and to me, that is a really, that's a bummer, you guys, yeah. not to have a pantry. Yeah. So, especially with it being more of a family motor home. Yep. So I, I would want to see a pantry in here. Okay. So that's my dislike. Well, that's three things we don't like about it, Andrea. Now it's time for three things we love about this motor home. Okay. Do you want to go first? Sure, I'll go first. Go ahead. I will say. Talk to Good him. job, Nexus. Yes. Your balances. Doing better. They are better. They are cute. Um, it's uh, it's a lot better than they were. Yes, yes, hundred thousand percent. Yes. Now all they need to do is uh, update the cabinetry and the furniture yes. a little bit. Um, but again, they are making the right moves, and that's what we absolutely love. That's number one. Number two, Andrea, small kitchen in here, right? They could have given you a small fridge to give you, what, this much more countertop space? Screw that. Nobody wants that. They want the big fridge. I love this big fridge. This big fridge is amazing. I love the residential. I love the size of it. Give me the big fridge. Don't give me an extra two inches of counter space. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love that. So that's number two. And then, Andre, do you have a number third? Uh, or do you want me to go? Because I have you a number third. Go. Okay, we're going outside. Number three is going to be a combo. A triple combo. Number three. I love the Asdale on the outside with the steel cage construction. I love the aluminum slam latch doors. And I love this international MV chassis how it can tow 20,000 pounds. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Everybody's waiting to know what the MSRP is. Burr, burr, burr. MSRP on this unit is $298,343. Andrea, MSRP. Motorhome specialist is definitely not selling it for that. And we're not selling it for that as part of the RVR family. So. If you're interested in buying one of these, all you have to do is go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com, and fill out the contact form. We've now partnered with RV retailers, so it doesn't matter if you live in New York, Florida, Texas, or California, we have a dealership close to you, and we can get you one of these, and we're gonna get you a phenomenal price. Just contact me by going to Matt's RV Reviews, and somebody from my team will reach out to you. Andre, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes, hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Nexus does read the comments, you guys. Yes. So they, they really want to hear what you guys have to say. And they've been making improvements. Yes, so they definitely listen. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thank you to Motorhome Specialist yes. for letting us be here today. Yes. Thanks so much, guys. Stay safe and well. All right, Andrea, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you, you next, next time. time.